I'm Carlo Bezzoli, I'm a professor from the Polytechnic di Milano University and I'm the coordinator of the Lenses project that was uh, uh, introduced right now by uh, Honorable Minister Irene Muloni and uh, I really have to say thanks uh, for, uh, for, for her to joining us. It's really important that uh, we work hand in hand. I mean, uh, we as researcher and as educator have the role to understand which are the critical points, to try to find the scientific solution, not only the scientific but even, you know, the humanistic solution after that. So how, how to deliver sustainable energy for all. But then, uh, uh, without the support of, uh, of the governmental institution, uh, uh, our efforts uh, have the risk to remain there, locked in the, in, in, into the drawer. So that the fact that uh, the Ministry of uh, uh, this very important country in, uh, in Africa, even in relation to uh, the fact that they have to develop renewable energy, is here, it's really for us uh, a, a great, a great gift. So I really want to thank from the bottom of my heart for her presence uh, here. Thank you very much, Minister. Thank you. Yes, that uh, you know better than me, but that sustainable energy for all is important all over the world. Yes, in Africa in particular, that uh, there was this uh, important project uh, trying to promote into the education for so for a new generation of designer, uh, new competences in developing uh, this profession and so diffusing uh, this worldwide. And what we are doing is. Uh, open to any universities, so it's not just a partnership, we have this open and proper that details, I don't know, so you, whatever you want, but, uh, uh, but maybe that uh, this is part of the contribution, we are working on research and education and we need to collaborate and maybe you need our help or something like this. You know better than me. <laughs> you are you are the speaker. I'm, uh, I'm making the research. Okay. No, sorry. You are no, 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 it's okay. Yes. Of course, um, uh, issues of energy very, very critical to the development of our economies and improving the livelihoods of our people. So the learning network for sustainable energy uh, for all systems and development becomes very, very critical. And uh, where you have uh, a network of uh, uh, people, institutions that are working uh, towards sustainable energy for the movement, um, sharing, exchanging information, research ideas uh, that can be transformed into goods and services, uh, gearing towards uh, energy solutions, um, and uh, really looking at the sustainable development goals agenda, where we need to improve the livelihoods of our people, and providing sustainable energy, which is uh, uh, critical for development, but also being mindful about the environment in which we operate and therefore renewable energy becomes extremely critical. Africa as a continent, we have uh, renewable energy sources in abundance and if we are going to develop uh, our economies and improve the livelihoods of our people, we have to tap into, tapping into them requires appropriate technologies. Technologies that are efficient, technologies that are mindful about the environment. And so the ideas from uh, this uh, network, which uh, uh, bring on board the aspects of uh, cheap, efficient, appropriate uh, green energy solutions, are very, very much welcome. And it's important that we share this information, we transform the research findings you know, of solutions into real action, into real systems, into real products that are going to help our people. And uh, that
that is a very very important project uh, which uh, I fully support and uh, appreciate the work that has gone into this uh, by the organizers and of course the uh, funders, supporters of this project. Uh, for us as governments in Africa, the issues of energy are extremely important. Uh, we need to prioritize, we need to focus, we need to fund you know, these projects uh, the research initiatives, linking them with the communities, linking them with the industrialists, so that the research findings can actually be transformed into real solutions, energy solutions for solutions that are going to make it efficient, that are going to make it cheap and affordable for our poor people, and that are going to work towards transforming uh, society and the environment uh, within we operate. So this conference is uh, very ideal, very critical, and I'm happy to be associated with it. I'm happy that I'm here in person to share uh, with them, to hear and uh, learn what has been done so far and the plans uh, for the future as we progress in this uh, agenda for sustainable energy development. We emphasize that science should be taught at all levels yeah. because it gives you the basics. Now for those people who do not go to university, they are technical institutes and uh, therefore at those technical institutes we impart skills because then there the research findings from universities, you know, research and innovations which come, those are the people who are hands-on. They are the ones who actually go and set up these systems in the villages. Once you have the innovation, the, that innovation to be implemented, to be put in, in, into action, you need skilled technical personnel, maybe at a lower level. And especially when you're looking at the rural areas, for sustainability of these systems in terms of maintenance and operation. Our people there need to be sensitized. If it's a communal or community service which requires uh, regular maintenance, it is such people who you have trained and the imparted the technical skills who will be able then to go and maintain those services. So at every level, at the lowest level, uh, as a, a child grows, to instill into them uh, understanding of science and how science enables us to transform the natural laws into goods and services. But then also add on skills of how they can implement those uh, solutions to the local yeah. population. It becomes important. Okay.